Hello everyone, I have returned. Sorry about the uh, long ass delay, but hopefully we'll get this finished up in this part. I mean, I think there's like three people we got left to kill. I think, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure that we'll probably get this done pretty soon. Also, I fixed the FPS problem and I increased the FOV off camera earlier. That should help with the recording. Uh, I think I'm good with weapons for now. Let's stay with Ben and Slinger. Alright. I could blow this It was early fall, right? Out. Beautiful time of year. At least you had the weather on your side. Not by my recollection. It was damp and foggy as hell. It was tough to stay on a true course, so we kept an eye out for landmarks. Some kind of landmark, huh? Basically saying, hey, we're over here, come and kill us. It was autumn. The maple trees were in full color. Red as blood. That doesn't look like blood. The rains that year were torrential, so the whole area was flooded. The vigilantes had spread out wide, and pretty soon I couldn't see anybody. Bury them in the swamp! Find them where they stand! Except for some some bitches ahead of me wanting to do me harm. So I had to face them alone. I wondered why my compatriots didn't come running when they heard the shots. Okay. Okay, no, I want that thank you. So did you find the Daltons? Not yet. But I did have the questionable pleasure of meeting a few of their friends. The boys had established quite a reputation by that time, so they attracted all manner of riffraff to their cause. Besides, it wouldn't be a first person. <laughs> Point B and I was under serious attack. The head. Reinforcements is nowhere to be seen. Oh, yeah. Upgrade. All right. Start putting some points into here. Guns blazing. Reload your revolvers. Uh, yeah. Let's put a point in there. Oh shit! I didn't even press that. Bury him in the swamp. Oh yeah, that's my fault. <laughs> pressing the wrong button. Yeah, there we go. Well, luckily, a barn materialized as if right before my eyes. I scrambled up top to get a better view. <laughs> but just ended up falling inside. So, how did you get out? <laughs> the barn doors was open. About right then, I saw Don't some suspicious characters what running through the bushes. Of course, I followed them. But that goddamn swamp was like a goddamn maze, and pretty soon I had no goddamn idea where I was. Eh, eh. Let's see. 
So I just started walking, and pretty soon, I... Steve. Steve. <laughs> huh? Oh, uh, no, 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 I'm listening. Indians surrounded me from all sides. There were Indians. No, I just wanted to make sure Steve was paying attention. <laughs> now, where was I? You were following the Daltons through a swamp. That's right. See, Steve, Dwight's paying attention. No, I I'm listening. I, I, I was just uh, resting my eyes. So, there you were. Where was I? The Daltons. Right. See, there's a reason so many oh, outlaw look. gangs Stop made up. That so, <laughs> so, did you ever find the damn Daltons? Not yet. But I did find a few of their cousins. Kansas breed like rabbits. More Smiths or Heimhoffers or who knows what. What's more important than family? I'll bet Ben knows what I'm talking about. One hell of a damn family. Somebody kill that son bitch! somewhere, standing together against anyone who would threaten them. And that's when I saw it. A goddamn steamboat. A steamboat? In a swamp? Yeah, Steve, but this wasn't much more than a wreck, really. But how'd a damn steamboat end up in the swamps? Yes, it floated off during the flood of 89. Now, was it a stern wheeler or, or a side wheeler? What, what? Does that really make a difference, Steve? It was a steamboat with a goddamn army on board. It was in that a fusillade of bullets come raining down from on high. And those vigilantes who accompanied me weren't anywhere to be found. But among those men that were shooting at me, I thought I saw some familiar faces. So basically the vigilantes turned on us. Wonderful. Waiting on me. Now's a good time for pistols. Sounds like you don't give up to me. That's the kind of man I am, Ben. I set out to do something, 
I do it. Surrender just ain't in my nature. Plus, I'm stubborn as hell. I know the feeling. But yeah, steamboats ending up in swamps, that's... That actually was pretty common then, during, like, hurricane storms and whatnot. Right about then, much to my relief, the vigilantes finally arrived. Their leader motioned at a cabin in the middle of the top deck pointing me directly at the Daltons. I finally had them. After months of dogged pursuit. Uh... But it turned out that they had me. Uh, yeah. Take them out! I'm sending you to hell! I saw that one coming. The Daltons had played That's me like a fit. Apparently the vigilantes were on their damn payroll. They didn't just want to shoot me. They wanted to burn me alive. But finding my way out of a burning labyrinth proved to be quite a challenge. It was a riverboat, right? I mean, it's not like it was a goddamn ocean. Well, yeah, but I was in a fight. Did you hear about that ship that's gonna launch next year? The largest one in the world? Um, You're well, talking I'm... about the Titanic. If you ask me, it's too blessed to... I don't think they leave you slow. So anyway... Don't be stupid, Steve. They know what they're doing. They say that the Titanic is unsinkable. Oh, God. But getting back to that steamboat, how'd you get off it, Mr. Breeze? I took in a lot of smoke that day, so I admit my recollection might be a bit hazy. But somehow, I managed to finally disembark. I was coughing up smoke and pretty damn pissed. I was done playing games with those boys. It was time to settle this once and for all. Perfect timing. On the run. Oh, more like combo. Bob and Brad weren't about to come at me one at a time. They were in this together. Two brothers side by side determined to take me down. Confident that this time the odds were on their side. Now, if I remember correctly, the short one that I'm aiming at here is the one that's going to draw first. I think. I hope. Oh, yeah. Oh. Ooh. And then switch. <laughs> they got it wrong. A sad end for those two. If they'd only known that Emmett was still alive despite his wounds. Wait. Her old 14 that. years later. <laughs> he moved to California and sold real estate and lived off the legend of that fateful day. And the tragic death of his two brothers. <laughs> After all that, that we did the last time, Emmett still lived? <laughs> oh my god. My own brothers died tragically as well, truth be told. It was 1868 and me and my older brothers were pulling a tidy profit running cattle into Juarez, Mexico. One night after my brothers retired for the evening, 
I found a little poker game in a cantina with a couple of cowboys. And I just couldn't lose. I even won an old Spanish coin that had to be a hundred years old. Well, I was mighty pleased with myself the next morning as my brothers and I rode for Texas. But before we crossed the border, those cowboys caught up with us. It was Johnny Ringo, Roscoe Bob Bryant, and another asshole named Jim. They wanted their money back and everything else we had, including our lives, as those boys didn't want us coming for them later. Bob put that old Spanish coin in my mouth and said, I won't have it said that I left you with nothing, boy. Well, those horses bolted, and there we hung as those bastards rode away. The branch finally snapped under the weight of the three of us, but being my older brothers were bigger and heavier, they were already dead. And right then I swore to myself that I would avenge them. Ringo you know about. But Bob eluded me until I heard he was riding with the Wild Bunch. I'd been on their trail for months, ever since they left their hideout in the Bighorn Mountains. Led by Butch Cassidy, they were a loose association of outlaws who robbed banks and trains from Colorado to Montana. Among them was the Sundance Kid and that murderous hombre I was tracking, Roscoe Bob Bryant. Were you a part of that giant Pinkerton posse after the Wild Bunch? No, boy. A circus like that would have slowed me down. Besides, I wanted Bryant all to myself. I'd heard about a large shipment of gold being transported to Wilcox, Wyoming on the Overland Flyer. I figured the Wild Bunch would likely hit such a treasure, and by God, I figured right. I didn't know this game had a sawed-off rifle. It's pretty neat. Oh, well, I think the Wild Bunch are already at it. They blew the bridge with the intention of forcing the train to stop. Well, well I assumed the Wild Bunch was likely in the still intact part of the train high above. So I had no choice but to make my way up through the passenger cars dangling down. I was determined to make that some bitch Bob pay for what he did to my brothers. ringing from blowing up that bridge. What'd you say? I can't hear a goddamn thing. Well, I made my way off unscathed. Came the upon a few members of the gang and had no choice but to dispatch them. From there, I had to negotiate an even more precarious route. But first, I would need to get my ass out of there. Somebody killed one of the holters. Oh. I jumped from the flying van into the fire as the train was clearly fixing to fall. I had found the gang, but in order to find old Bob, I needed to fight my way forward past a whole passel of desperados. Here we go. Here's my gold rifle. Outside, inside, any way I could, I made my way toward my prey. Well, what about the passengers? It was mostly a freight train, as I recall. There were no passengers aboard that day. Swept this back out. As I mentioned before, I am not fond of heights. 
but I was too busy dodging bullets to worry about falling to my death. Odds were I was likely to die that day anyway, so I was determined to take down as many of those bastards as I could. Oops. Oh, right here. Uh... At times it was like shooting ducks in a shooting gallery. The only difference is these damn ducks shot back. I'm stuck. Oh, thank God. I kept hoping the law would show up and give me a hand. You mean like that giant Pinkerton posse that I read about? Did they come riding in, guns a blazing to help? Help? From the Pinkertons? <laughs> no, son. I had to fight the wild bunch all by my lonesome. As usual. Who the hell is that? So much oh. Get out of his mind! Murder! Ah. Take cover! Retreat! Retreat! He's killing everybody! You ain't seen that, you Kill yourself! Ah. Ah. My guess is those dime novels didn't portray this as it happened. Did they? <laughs> Only a few stragglers who left. I had to cut them down pronto if I was gonna stay on old Bob's trail. Once I silenced all those guns, I went searching for my nemesis, determined to finally have my justice. But the only survivor who welcomed me was George Flatnose Curry. Who was he? The fastest gun in the gang. Right after Sundance, I mean. And Kid Curry, and maybe Elsie Lay. Though some folks might dispute that. On that very same day, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid decided to leave the Wild Bunch behind and decamp for South America. They ended up living down there for many years, but I'm sure you already know all about that. I think I was close to leveling Yep, there we go. Making time. All that's left is these. For the ivory handled quick shooter. Awesome. So this one, Cold Rage. Do even more damage and concentration. 
Excellent. I tried to find Bob Bryant, but it was as if he'd disappeared. Sometime later, I heard the Wild Bunch was back together. Kid Curry escaped from jail, and now he was running the whole shebang. So I took to their trail, as I was still in pursuit of my brother's killer and hoped that he was back with him. Kid Curry's kind of crazy, ain't he? Don't let him hear you saying that. Anyways, I tracked those boys to a camp right outside Parachute, Colorado. Who's <laughs> shooting? Oh, shoot, you know, no, I didn't bother with a warning shot. I just started taking those bastards down. <laughs> Old Bob wasn't among them. Neither was Kid Curry. I could sense him close by, however, plotting something nasty. I just needed a clue as to their whereabouts. Oh. Wait, what? Isn't that where I came from? And I found oh. one. A map with their bold plan clearly marked. This time they were fixing to blow up a train trestle. Property of the Union Pacific. The plan clearly indicated how they were fixing to undermine several of the weakest wooden supports. Kid Curry was considered the wildest of the wild bunch. It was said that he fathered 85 bastard children. Though some say it was only five. Five, I guess, is more realistic. Kid Curry had bragged to a whore how he was gonna rob a train heading to the U.S. Mint in Denver. And that whore, Fat Sally, she told me. The bridge was rigged with dynamite, so I decided I'd best be careful confronting those bastards. That's one. A moment later, I saw a ladder that somehow had escaped my attention. Don't you blow us up now. Don't worry, I know what Reality I'm doing. Altering stories. Bunch did not take kindly to my presence and attempted to blow my head off. It appeared the kid had found a number of new recruits to bolster their ranks. Guess there's always desperate men willing to trade their lives for stolen treasure. Nope, to what happened what next? Whatever. Well, having removed the first bundle of dynamite, I decided I might as well remove the other one. Once that was done, I figured I'd find my way from there. Okay, here are my trying to face the bridge, and there's explosive parallels. I'm blown up just to kill these guys. Why don't somebody shoot? Ah! Ah! He's hurt now. Oh. Oh. Nice. He's up. Thank you. Somebody sense. really pissed this son bitch off. Oh, you have no idea. Oh, I swear to God, I'm not joking while I'm saying that they're playing into their surroundings. So, what happened then? I had to remove more of that damn dynamite. 
And then what happened after? I removed some more of the It must have been terrifying trying to make your way across. I was sweating it a bit, but then I noticed a footbridge tied up on high, so I shot the rope. Get so that was all the dynamite? Funny you should mention that, darling. <laughs>